Hello and welcome. I just gotta stop swinging. Oh my gosh. Hello. Welcome to an experience video. Specifically, experience tea. We are going back to the tea well and trying some lemon tea from the bookshelf. The bookshelf series. I think I only did one, two videos about bookshelf. I think one was just look at the bookshelf filled with teas. The second one was English breakfast tea. So this is so this is um, lemon tea. It is a very hot day and I'm going to brew this and then drink it hot. I'm going to taste it hot as soon as the video over. Pour it over ice and enjoy. With honey, I think. That should be nice. Let's open it up. Look at the box. Cool little box. Ah! Bag looks like. You, is, that, is that just part of the bag? I mean... Okay, that's just part of the bag. Huh. Anyway, here's the bag. You got your Dogadon lemon fruit tea. Instructions on how to steep it. This is what I'll be doing. This is how I'll be tasting it though, but I'm, I'm gonna transfer this eventually. My thumb, it's not really very smooth. Let's sniff it. Here we have the lemon tea bag and the, the only way to take it out appropriately. Well, that was stupid. Here we got the tea bag oh, spinning like a freaking Tasmanian devil. Smell it. I guess that's lemon. It smells like they added sugar in this. It kind of smells like a Cane's lemonade. But perfume? This is weird. Oh, it's, I hope it doesn't taste oily. Well, we sniffed it. Now it's time to brew it. We are back with the lemon tea. Why is it so dark? It looks really dark on the video. Why? Oh, wait, let me, okay. There, does it look lighter now? This is stupid, let me fix the cam. There's our lemon tea. How does it look? It kinda looks like dark piss, not gonna lie. Oh, uh, we taste, we taste the dark piss now. Okay, now before I take, not gonna lie, my second sip I already took a sip because I was scared. I didn't want to burn my tongue. And I also committed a huge <sighs> freaking ant <sighs> on my leg. I committed a huge sin. Huge, huge sin. Um, it was hot and I, I wanted to drink it soon. So I, I went, horrible thing. I put an ice cube in it. If you're wondering why is that a horrible thing? When you put ice in it or water in tea or anything like that, you dilute the flavor. So huge sin there. Um, but let me tell you, didn't dilute it that much. We're gonna get to that in a bit. I also did that with gumbo as a kid. My my, my gumbo too hot. I got I want to eat my gumbo now. So I put ice in it. Very big sin. Very big. Um, second sip that I'll pretend to be my first, and I'll try to recreate. What I did the first time, I took a sip, which is literally this, because I was scared to sip it. But anyway, first sip, second sip. Okay. I'm making that face because it is super tart, which actually is something I like. And the, the more I take a sip of it, um, first of all, let me go back. Let me see if it has any oil residue. Mm, not really. I think there's lemongrass in here. I think that's what I'm tasting a lot of. But yes, the hair. Why is there hair? Why was there hair in? I don't think there was hair in the teeth. 
I think it just managed to fall in at one point. I don't know whose hair it is, but there was hair in my mouth. Um, first thought, super tart. Not bad, I don't hate it. Now, something that makes me excited about this is because, like I said, I'm not gonna finish drinking this hot. I'm gonna pour it over ice and honey and sweet and tart together. <laughs> it's gonna be really good. I'm very excited about fly. I get distracted. Very excited about doing that later, but of course, we will just have to grate it. <sighs> it's not bad, I'm just doing that because it's a strong flavor, which is something um, I really like. I don't want my lemon tea to not be strong. I want my green tea to not be strong. I want my white tea to not be strong. My black tea should be strong. Um, but lemon, lemon I think should also be strong unless, you know, you don't want it that strong, then the buck up, Billy. Yep. I enjoy this. The number in my head that's popping up is um, not a high rating, but I think it's the number it deserves based on this plain taste and tart taste. But. It's a great ingredient base if you wanted something because it's got super tart. You add a little sweet to it and some ice. And I think I would enjoy this on a hot day like this one. I'm freaking sweating. Yeah, I uh, shaved, but I kept the mustache. Does it look good? Yes or no? Leave a comment, like the video. So it's tart. Mm. I don't think I'm getting an oily taste, which is great. I think this is a lemongrass taste. Um, I'm surprised. I thought this was gonna be horrible. I have low expectations for the bookshelf tea because I tried, <sighs> fly, I tried one of them. I think it was the blueberry that I've got very disappointed about or the mint tea, I don't know. We're gonna hit it again. We're gonna hit it one day when we review to it. But, um, review from one to 10. I'll give this a six. The piss color re really brings it home to being a six, but it's not bad. It's just not, <laughs> I'm laughing because of, of, because it's not everybody's cup of tea. That's really bright right there. That's a cool thing going on right there. But yeah, it's honest. I'll give this a six for everybody, for me too. Um, I'm gonna pour it over ice with some honey to bring the sweetness factor up but yeah six out of ten I think it's appropriate not bad but um could use a lot of improvement and I think you have to improve it to make it better but it's not a bad thing at all um, six out of ten I hope you're having a great day uh, you can follow me on Instagram not me you can follow the channel on Instagram at come underscore experience underscore the underscore world that's long i'm sorry uh i'll also probably not leave a link just the name in the description you don't need a link just type it in and um on twitter at come underscore experience much shorter don't know why i didn't do that with instagram don't know which one i did first but yes yeah, six out of ten like the video leave a comment is the mustache a good look am i a good look I'm not, but um, have a good day. Enjoy your day, have a lovely day. I'm sorry about, bye-bye.